Often when we start with a room, we look at the architecture of the space. And in this room, we really embellish the architecture. We first started with the entrance. And what we did was we raised the whole height of the entrance. And I like deep entrances into a room. So we really built this up and put the panel here. Now, because we had the depth, what we did was we built these bookcases. And when we're building bookcases, we like the gable and the shelves to be quite thick. And this really worked out well. And it also was able to hide the, ba the, in the baseboard, the hot water heating. So we have these holes cut in there, and that is really part of the architecture. Now, some of the rooms we see nowadays are sunken. And because people can trip on those, we really want to emphasize the stair. So we put in this railing. Even though the stair is only one step, we put this in to draw your eye to that, and again, add architectural detail. When you're walking in the room, the way the furniture is laid out, the back of the sofa faces you. And we didn't want to just see the back of the sofa, so we designed this console to place the lamps and artifacts on. And it's much more interesting when you walk in a room. Now, on either side of the fireplace, we designed these chests of drawers. And I really like symmetry, especially when the fireplace is in the center. So we have these beautiful chests of drawers with the marble top, and then these Venetian mirrors that were made in the island of Murano specifically for this room. The fireplace in the center also has the architectural detail. And you can see how we did the crown at the ceiling, and then a lower crown, and this recessed panel for the wall sconces. The center of the seating area is this large coffee table. And I always love oversized coffee tables. And to lighten it, we did a mirrored top. But the mirror is antique glass, so it doesn't look modern. It still has that old feeling. The focal point of the whole room, though, is this wonderful carpet. And the carpet is based on the colors in these fabrics. The carpet is actually made out of wool and silk. And you can see how the flowers have the silk. And that gives you this beautiful depth of color and really very practical because of the pattern. The sofas are both different. We did one in a tight back and one in a loose back. So we have a real mixture of furniture that all works together and creates a really dramatic space. When we decorated this room, we did more than just cosmetic decoration. We actually did a lot of architectural changes. The biggest architectural change we did was the ceiling. We actually went into the attic and almost doubled the height of the room by creating this great vaulted ceiling. Now, the focal point of this is this beautiful fixture. This is a fixture made in Italy in Murano by Fortuny. And this blue silk that we see here is the inspiration for the whole room. So we have blue throughout. Another focal point of the room is this great fireplace. And I love fireplaces in bedrooms. Now, in this particular instance, we were asked to put the TV over the fireplace. But I didn't really want that to be the focal point. So we designed this screen and had it hand painted in this Asian motif with this gilded frame. And it's just touch latch. And we expose our plasma TV above. So when putting a television over the fireplace, it really isn't a great focal point, And I love to hide it with art. We did sconces on either side, and that gives a nice soft glow, as opposed to having a pot light over it, which would cause too much light for the television set. In front, we have these really comfy chairs. And we did this beautiful ottoman in blue linen, again, picking up the color of the Fortuny. And we did it with a very firm seat so that we can put a tray on it with coffee or drinks, put your feet up on it, and really very practical. The carpet that you see on the bottom was custom made and again is wool and silk. So the background is wool and the entire pattern is silk. And you get a beautiful quality to it as you walk through the room. It has all the colors of our Fortuny light fixture. The drapes are really beautiful in the fact that they're so simple on the side panels. It's this blue silk. Again, the blue we see through the room. And these shears, these are not the traditional shears you usually see. It's all hand embroidered and has this beautiful um, blossoms with branches. The bed also keeps up the cream and blue. And we have this Asian theme on the silk pillows mixed with a French headboard and French night tables with contemporary lamps on either side. So an eclectic space, but really a wonderful oasis.